Hi guys, so today I'm going to be customizing, I think they're called bandana scarves, well one bandana scarf because I'm actually, one bandana scarf, I'm going to be customizing a bandana scarf and I'm actually filming this intro after the fact, so that's why you're looking at a big blur right now, I don't even know why I had to bring that in, so it's already finished and I know what happens. So, you're in for a, you're in for a treat. It took me so long, so I hope you guys like it. And let's, cue you voice over me. Okay, so here's the thing. I realized kind of too late that I had forgot to film the first two little bug things. So we're just going to pretend like that I recorded it and that didn't happen. So we're coloring in the orange one now. Now, if, if, if this is not a, I decide, I don't know what I'm going to try to say. I decided to, oh uh, my gosh, I decided, what was that? I decided to um, do a pastel rainbow and I'm using my Poscos for this because they are easy to layer and put on, but also they're pens so I can still, and they're pretty fabric -y and stretchy. They're not fabric -y. Fabric key. It's not even a word. They're not fabric. They're not made for fabric, but they they are very flexible, so they'll work on here. I think. Uh, so it was this is actually really long process. It took a while for all these to get colored in. Good because the Poscas don't like the fur. Is not fur. They don't like the fabric. Fabric like what is it called fabric material and they weren't going on the smoothest and nicest but I tried my best to do it make it look nice and I don't also I did a red one but then I realized I wanted to do pastel rainbow so I kind of just tried to turn it gold it doesn't look very good um but Right here was a dilemma of some sort because I just realized what if, like, I don't have enough room afterwards to put, like, a yellow far away from another yellow and do it where it looks completely scattered instead of, like, yellow, yellow, orange, pink, orange. Like, I don't want two of the same colors too close to each other. So I didn't know what to do about that, but I kind of just thought like it was, it's in the future, I will figure out what to do with it when it comes. So for now I was just kind of placing them randomly and scattering them all over. Right now, and till the end of this process, these things don't look like pastel rainbow, they just look like colored bugs. But they're, it's fine. It's colored bugs, and they're all the colors of the rainbow, so it's fine. It works. Um, but here is when I decided those, that yellow and that yellow are too close to each other. And I was, like, I knew I couldn't go back, so I just decided to just ignore it and keep going. And I did it the same thing with the blue again, and that makes me mad because now everything's off balance because there's not room for another color. So closer to the end is where I started to kind of worry a, a lot more because like all the colors were getting close to each other. Like the pink is really close to the other pink. If you see those two, they're kind of out of the frame, but that's fine. Like the oranges, they're too far. It was really, ugh, ugh, I don't know. 
it was frustrating because they didn't look evenly spaced and there's like a ton of yellow and just like and I didn't like that but I had no choice because I was too far into this like look at those two blues those two blues are the worst two that bother me so much oh also I do have a little bit of the sniffles so sorry if I sound like a little stuffy Although, they still look like colored bugs, but you see this rim around here? I was thinking to uh, color it in all the colors of the rainbow, of the pastel rainbow, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just changing colors every single dot, and this took forever. Like, when I say forever, it took me, like, 20 minutes just for this little ring. Like, it took so long, but... We shall push through and finish the ring. Oh, it looks so good already. Oh, I really love this bandana. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but, uh, but I love it. And here's where I made a mistake. I decided to put all the pinks down and then just leave them, but they weren't evenly spaced. So... Some of them were evenly spaced, so I run into a bit of a predicament, like like that I did. There should be orange, but that's not part of it. Luckily, these plastic pens go over really well. There's my arm. Um, so like, I do. Like, look at, like they look fine. It's perfect, right? All the pinks are gonna layer, and then there's gonna be orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It doesn't happen like that. There ends up being extra spaces and I have to like color over the pink and stuff. So that's not good. And uh, it just not like, so far I was like, okay, phew, I spaced them perfectly. That's fine. We're just gonna do that. <sighs> also, I'm really sorry for my, but that black thing in the frame, that is what I hold my phone's camera on. Also, I just flash forward to the end, so that's nice. But that's what I hold my camera on, so sorry, it's popping in the frame right now. And so it's all finished. I flash forward to the finish. I fixed everything. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. So that room looks nice. But now I've got this big thing, so I'm going to pick my colors. i got this and these, and they're all going over here. So look, this is a thicker tip. That's a thinner tip. And so these things took me forever, like they took me like probably like a straight 40 minutes. Like they took so long to do. And my pastas were really starting to like dry up because of the fabric. Luckily they can still be used on other stuff. It's just the fabric was really kind of biting through the pastas paint. Also, the pastas paint is, um, not really soaking into the thing, so it doesn't not soak up a lot of your Posca's paint. It just is so hard to put on though. Like, it took me forever and my hand was not happy with me. <coughs> and yeah, this took absolutely so long and I was doing it in rainbow order, so I had to switch pens every single time. I was going to a new one, and I had to get the right size tip, and I had to get the right color, and I had to make sure it was pastel, and I got to make sure, and it was just so, so long, but in the end, it looks amazing, so push through, little buddy, you got this. My hand was getting all the encouragement, because I needed it, and this is where I realized what if the rainbows don't match up perfectly and then there's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green? That would, I was thinking that, I was like, hopefully that doesn't happen, hopefully they match up perfectly and hopefully everything's fine. And I was just hoping at this point that it looked good, it didn't look too scraggly too because the paint was really starting to not, go on as nice but it 
ended up looking fine. It just looks a little bit scraggly, but and it was chewing up my Posca a little bit because of its scraggliness. But you know, it wasn't that too bad. Also, I gotta mention that these things. What are are they fish? I don't know if they're fish or not, but I don't know. They were something, and I didn't know what they were, so I just kind of colored them. Not as a certain thing, but as things. Just things. And they looked fine, so. Also, this is in the... This is five... This is over five times. This clip of all these little things is over five times of how long sped up of how long it actually took me and yeah it was long but it looks great in the end so we're just gonna keep pushing through keep going and hopefully it'll look nice in the end well actually I know it looks nice in the end but right now I was hoping that it looks okay also the banana is showing my art table so there's some paint on there uh, so, um, yeah, so this is, this is just really fun to do, though, aside from the paint, Posca's not liking the fabric, but it was really fun to just, like, go crazy and paint it all rainbow and fun, because usually I don't do that, usually I pick, like, three colors that go together, and then I just do that, and here's where I realized I got so happy. It's going to fit as a perfect rainbow. And I got so happy with that. Because, like, yes, that's perfect. And it just goes around and around and around and around. Although, it did make it hard to tell which was the top, which was the bottom. But there's a 100% cotton sign, so we got that. Last one. Oh, it's done. So there's this bigger rim. And I really wanted to do an all rim to match with the inner rim, but that was that rim was so big, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it. So I decided on something a bit of a comp. <coughs> okay, sorry, a bit of a compromise. It's a bit of a compromise. So we're gonna flash forward to that's done. Okay, so I have the finished product with me. Uh, this is it. It's so can't even get it in the frame. So this is my finished thing. It banana scarf. So it's got a bunch of so in the middle it's got like these little things there. Um everyone's a different color of the rainbow. Then we've got this whole thing tying in the rainbow idea for the what is it called? The inside. And then on the outside, there's a bunch of these little fish things. I don't know what they are, but they're also rainbow and pretty. And then this outside has got two rainbows on each corner and then gold all the way across the rest. And all together, that makes this piece of chaos. I don't know if you can see it very well. But yeah, this is it. I really like it, and I hope you guys like it too. And I will see you next Friday or Tuesday. Bye.